tumali sa ating live stream, i-follow lang ang ating Facebook page at para sa mas marami pang guide, i-search lang ang Master the Basics at ang hero na gusto nyo. Ano nga bang sikreto ng mga pro marksman? Sa video na ito, pag-usapan natin yung mga ginagawa ng mga pro marksman sa MSC 2022 na nagiging dahilan kung bakit nagdo-dominate sila. Okay, let's go! Falcon backs up, but that's all they wanted. The pick onto Baby Cakes can now re-engage. Bray going to get taken oh, wow. down, but the jump... Ooh, what? Oh, the two-man fatal links lands on the Chico as well as Bobo, and they are blitter... Umpisaan muna natin sa positioning. Paano nga ba ang tamang pagpwesto na ginagawa ng mga pro player? Simula natin kay Silent ng Falcon. But 505 is looking for the pick. Baby Cakes gets hooked, and they're just so good at this. They play it so well. 505 gets a Luminon Blast onto two, but it's outside of the real world inflation. They can't really go for anything else here. Falcon backs up, but that's all they wanted. The pick onto Baby Cakes can now re engage. Bray going to get taken oh, wow. down, but the jungler was. Kung wapan sinyo, isa sa mga ginagawa ng mga marksman, hinihintay nila yung set ng mga tank. Kadalasan, nasa likod sila ng mga tank at hindi sila nauuna. Kapag nahuli na ng tank yung target, tsaka lang papasok yung mga marksman. Hindi lang si Silent ang gumagawa nito. Kung mapapansin nyo dito si Skylar ng RRQ, hihintayin niya muna mag-set yung Grok bago siya pumasok. Ganon din si Emma ng RSGPH. Pero kailangan nyo tandaan, hindi lang to kay Bea at Franco. Kahit ibang marksman o support yung gamit nyo, pwedeng gawin to. Makikita nyo dito, mas madaling makakapag-stack si Kelra ng Omega dahil nakapag-set yung roam. Napaka-importante ng patience ng marksman para mas madaling makapag-set yung mga row. Kapag masyadong maaga lumalabas yung mga marksman, kadalasan sila pa yung nasisetan. At kapag nasetan kayo, kayo pa yung mamatay. Panoorin naman natin si Eman sa clip na to. Don't like the Brody, right? Okay, man, just gets melted down once again. Iman's damage is just nasty at this point. Born trying to go for that back line, but it's not going to be able to. He's looking for the steal, but no one's hitting the Lord. It is going to be Demon Kite with the retribution, and Light goes away the dragon and knock Gary down. It's an all-out fight as Valance will be running for the hills onto the enemy side. He's forced to go down. He goes for the start, and the turn pop memory gets a trade, but again, three for one. Kung mapapansin nyo, tinatarget lang ni Eman kung sino yung abot niya. Kapag masyado ng malayo yung kalaban, hindi niya na pinipilit habulin. Maliban sa masasayang yung oras niya kakahabol sa mga kalaban, kaya niya pa rin mag-deal ng damage kahit sino yung nasa harap niya. Kaya bilang marksman, targetin lang natin kung sino yung abot natin. Hindi lang si Eman yung gumagawa nito. Kung makikita niya yung galaw ni Silent, inaabot niya lang kung sino yung nasa harap niya. That's a joke, by the way. But real world manipulation here from the side of RG. No, not blast. Cancel. No, he gets it. He goes for the flicker onto Naomi, but the damage is not there. Baby Cakes gets taken down. A double kill here for Ken, and that's Ken looking for the triple. Ganon din si Skylar ng RRQ. Kapag pinagsama natin yung una at kapalawang ginagawa nila, intayin magset ang tank, tapos targetin lang kung sino ang abot. Obliterated from this fight, and right now they press on to Todak. The enhanced chains comes out to knock up Elba, but it's not What? enough as they get a double kill onto Boots and Boots boss to use the flicker as well. They almost get an entire team. What? Ganon din si Kelra. Kung mapapansin nyo, hindi nila pinipilit patayin yung mga low HP heroes na hindi na nila abot. To zone them out, but has to back away. They don't know where Chagnu is. They have to be careful. But Nick takes too much damage, and in a back line, they find Adamir. Chagnu gets a kill onto him. Sela running for his life, but Kelra manages to secure that as well. Two down. Sa dada ginagawa ng mga pro marksman, alam na alam nila yung strength at weakness ng hero nila. Kapag alam nilang kaya nilang pumatay, gagamitin nila lahat ng skills nila nang hindi nagdadalawang isip. Tingnan niyo yung gagawin ni Kelra sa clip na to. Yell using the flicker to escape from Omega. Oh, that was so good. I mean, Gear recognized that opportunity and went in on it. Sailor though in some trouble gets bursted down by Kelra here in the mid lane. Kuno pa sinyo, alam niyang walang ultimate si Lilia at kaya niyang i-burst to. Kaya pinasok niya agad. Magagawa niyo lang to kung alam niyo yung strength at weakness ng hero niyo. Ganito rin ang gagawin ni Eman. Minute of the game, but they only catch the roamer. Eman just burst melts Born down, but look at the damage coming from Born. Almost so close that wouldn't nature be the difference makers. But this is Skylar. Connects and Finn just instantly deleted, but look at the re-engage. Albert comes in with a real world manipulation to back him up. He picks off one. That's Skylar just circling around the opponents. He picks up a double kill. A four for one. They used all their resources for Finn. But you know, it's silent. 
action. Naomi looking for another cheeky hook onto 505. It's just a trade here. This is so smart coming from Valve because they realize that RNG is forced to fight the issues every single time and they just allow Silent to get another kill just like that. Maliban sa strength at weakness, ano na ginagawa ng mga pro marksman is yung marunong silang umilag. Hindi lang sila basta nakatayo sa isang location habang nagbe-basic attack. Aizen manages to secure the turtle here and Evo's SG, the Numenon Blast connects, Gear goes in, but they counter engage here, Kara with the damage again, dodging and putting out those bullets together with E2, Max's Rebel Manipulation, they take out two members of Evo's SG, Adam here trying to get a return kill here with the Debiros, but Kara puts him down. Kung mapapansin nyo, napakaraming skill yung dinudge ni Kelra para kahit nagdi-deal siya ng damage, hindi siya basta-basta mapapatay. Hindi niya tinipid yung ultimate at sprint niya dahil importante na buhay siya para mapag-deal siya ng damage. Ito pa yung isang clip kung saan makikita niyo kung gaano ka-importante ang pag-dodge sa mga skills. For the conceal play, wild charge gonna miss entirely, and here comes the real world manipulation. Oh, the knockout onto Nick and JPL, and now they are in some serious trouble here. They managed to secure two kills already. Omega pressing their lead here. Evo's SG busy defending the, from the Lord here, and now they have the opportunity to counter engage. Tries to go onto Kara, but Sela gets put down instead, and Gear follows as well. They are dropping one by one, and Adamir is next. Ryzen tries to get the kill onto him, but it's going to be Renzio. Napakaganda ng mga dodge na ginawa ni Kelra doon pero kailangan niya tandaan kahit na pro player pwede pa ring mamatay. Pero ang importante kung gaano katagal mo na maximize yung buhay mo at nakapag-deal pa ng damage. Kung uulitin natin yung lista, proper positioning, hintayin mag-set ang tank, targetin kung sino yung abot, alamin ang strength at weakness ng hero at matutong mag-dodge. Panoorin pa natin yung iba pang clip sa MSC at mag-focus lang tayo sa mga marksman. Tignan natin kung ginagawa ba talaga nila yung mga tips na to. Oh, damage output is going to be so much for the side of RGPH and this is their specialty. When it comes to the late stage, the way they maneuver, Gary's oh! caught, immortality, they're gone. It's the jungler of Orange Esports caught out. Min tries to save it, but look at the bottom side. Born is looking Born. for the base here. It's going to be Min looking for the cancel out on the recalls. Iman going to be able to pop that immortality. Balance oh! tries to buy some time, but Born will not be successful at taking that base down. Man trying to run away. That's going to be the render shot. Not connecting. Aqua still trying to hit that bad impact. He gets the sanguine claws. Iman is there to shut him down. Damage as well as Valence in the later Ooh. part of the game. But Light again gets a hook onto Iman to target. Oh, at this point, right? 6,000 gold lead. And again, Light. Ooh. This is the Franco that you need to try to look for turrets elsewhere. And that's Bowl. Oh. Light jumps in. And that's the collapse. Rail roll in place. going to be popped. They open that blast on oh. the bar. And this is the moment. This is where Orange Esports can flip the fight. But no to that. Another enhanced chain, Born and Min taken down. Gary jumping in with the damage, but Iman with the win of nature still surviving. Min trying to deal more. I mean, Man here with the enhanced chain coming in. He's gonna be knocked out. They look for more as Gary jumps in, but he gets sniped down. The cable management on point. Iman trying to catch him in the air. Looking for the base now. Iman with the Nibiru going in. Gary with the defense once again. He goes oh. over the cable. Iman responds with immortality. It will not be enough. Much better position. They're now looking for the concealed play. Wild charge gonna miss entirely, and here comes the real world manipulation. Oh, the knockout onto Nick and JPL, and now they are in some serious trouble here. They managed to secure two kills already. Omega pressing their lead here. Evo's SG busy defending the, from the Lord here, and now they have the opportunity to counter engage. Tries to go onto Kara, but Sela gets put down instead, and Gear follows as well. They are dropping one by one, and Adamir is next. Ryzen tries to get the kill onto Ooh. it, but it's going to be Renzio! And Evo Singapore knows this. Yep, they're trying to en counter engage onto JPL though. The Holy Baptism stuns him out, and it will be Kelra that gets positioned by Chaknu though in the back line, looking to see if he can make a play. Gear goes ahead to start out the fight here. Heavy spin to zone them out, but has to back away. They don't know where Chaknu is. They have to be careful, but Nyx takes too much damage, and in the back line, they find Adamir. Chaknu gets a kill onto him. Sailor running for his life, but Kelra manages to secure that as well too. Omega. Ooh, that was so good. I mean, Gear recognized that opportunity and went in on it. Sailor, though, in some trouble, gets bursted down by both Ryzen and Gear wanting to take it. Oh no, it seems like Chakno is going to look for engage. He actually goes back, but what is going to happen here is Ryzen gets caught. 
Ryzen manages to secure the turtle here, and Evo's SG, the Numenon Blast connects, gear goes in, but they counter and gauge here, Kara with the damage, again dodging and putting out those bullets, together with E2, Max's real manipulation, they take out two members of Evo's SG, Adam here trying to get a return kill here with the Defeos, but... Resetting here, not going too aggressively, but 505 is looking for the picks, Baby Cakes gets hooked, and they're just so good at this, they play it so well, 505 gets a Numenon Blast onto two, but it's outside of the real world inflation, they can't really go for anything else here, Falcon backs up, but that's all they wanted. The pick onto Baby Cakes can now re-engage. Bray going to get taken oh, wow. down, but the jungler was traded. Naomi looking for another cheeky hook onto 505. It's just a trade here. This is so smart coming from Falcon. They realize that RNG is forced to fight the issues every single time, and they just allow Silent to get another kill just like that. As oh my god. Yeah, like just Silent, Silent, yeah. Silent. I get it, I get That's it. That's a joke, by the way. But real world manipulation here from the side of RG. No, not blast! Cancel! No, he gets it! He goes for the flicker onto Naomi, but the damage is not there. Baby Cakes gets taken down. A double kill here for Ken. No, they're gonna abuse it. So it's been a tough one for Formix as well as Moomba right now oh, on no. the bottom side. Also a tough one for Cheek. I'm, I'm getting scared right now. Honestly, for Todak. It's Ooh, so what? Oh, the two man fatal links lands on the Cheek as well as Momo, and they are obliterated from this fight. And right now, they press on to Todak. The enhanced chains comes out to knock up Elba, but it's not what? enough as they get a double kill on to Boots. And Boots forced to use the flicker as well. They kung may natutunan ka sa video na to, wag mo kalimutan mag subscribe. At kung meron kang guide na gusto ipagawa, i comment mo lang sa obasa sa buong guma ng guide ng Colton. Subscribe, hit mo na yung subscribe pati yung notification bell. Basta lagi mo lang tatandaan, kung gusto mo mag-improve, just master the basics. I'm out.